Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we're back once again with another video to address another instance of what happens when stars slash celebrities get a little bit too chummy with their fans, more specifically younger fans. Now I am going to be putting out a trigger warning here as we are going to be talking about allegations revolving around grooming. So if this right here is something that genuinely bothers you and could potentially traumatize you or open up scars from past incidents, then please I beg you to skip skip this video as the last thing that I would ever want to have happen when it comes to my videos would be for any of my viewers to be negatively impacted and genuinely hurt. Now with that being said ladies and gentlemen for those of you guys that are staying this is potentially going to be a very long video because there is a lot to go through a lot's been documented in the article that we will be referencing here so without further ado guys Let's get into this. YouTube star Colleen Ballinger, who is best known for creating the character Miranda Sings, has been under fire after allegations that she was grooming and taking advantage of her underage fans made their way across social media. Miranda Sings is the alter ego character of Colleen Ballinger, who has been making videos on YouTube since 2008. She has posted hundreds of videos as her comically talentless and quirky character and has a combined following of over 22 million subscribers across three YouTube channels. Throughout her time on YouTube, Colleen broke into the world of traditional celebrity with her own Netflix original series, an appearance on Jerry Seinfeld's Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, a run on Waitress on Broadway, and two best-selling books. Recently, Ballinger made headlines after former fan Adam McIntyre alleged that she groomed and bullied underage fans, and it turns out Adam McIntyre isn't the only one speaking out against the YouTuber on such matters. But what are people actually accusing her of? And do they have proof? Here's everything we know about the situation. Now that there is just a little bit of a background for what we're going to be getting into here. And yes, this right here revolves around allegations. However, there's a lot of damning evidence to back up said allegations. And this right here is the type of stuff we are getting into here, such as what we have under content. Colleen Ballinger accused of grooming teen fans. Miranda Sings made teen fan uncomfortable at comedy show. Sponsors drop Colleen Ballinger as a result of grooming accusations. Colleen responds to grooming allegations with ukulele song. Adam McIntyre responds to the video with his own version of the song. Miranda Sings under fire as blackface video resurfaces. Colleen hits reactions to apology song with copyright claims as tour gets cancelled. Now that's like the short and skinny of everything that has taken place when it comes to this individual and maybe even more that hasn't yet been documented. And let me tell you something, nothing pisses me off more when you have a full grown adult trying to gaslight and manipulate little children. Colleen Ballinger accused of grooming teen fans. Former fan Adam McIntyre first posted a video where he accused Ballinger of grooming in 2020. However, this video was quickly filled with other fans of Ballinger coming to her defense. Because of this, the hype regarding the video soon died down and was forgotten about until McIntyre released another video talking about Ballinger on June 4th, 2023. In the hour and 20 minutes long video, which already has over 583,000 views, McIntyre talked about his relationship with Ballinger and how he felt like she was using him and other fans for her convenience. In another video published a few days later on June 7th, McIntyre further discussed his relationship with Ballinger, including how he was part of a group chat with the YouTuber and other fans. At the time of these conversations, Ballinger was already in her 30s, and a majority of the fans included in the chat were supposedly aged between 14 and 16. However, this did not stop Ballinger from commenting on their appearance, encouraging bullying, and asking inappropriate questions, such as when they lost their virginity and when what their first periods were like. This woman groomed me, he said. McIntyre also showed several screenshots of his time in the group chats, which included Ballinger asking some very weird and inappropriate questions. These have also been shared on McIntyre's Twitter, where he's been revealing more about his relationship with Ballinger. 
McIntyre has also claimed that the YouTuber would use love bombing to make him feel special, praising and encouraging him to run her social media accounts without pay or accreditation. This would ultimately end their friendship. Since McIntyre stood up and talked about his experience with Ballinger, other former fans of the internet personality have also opened up about their experiences of being groomed or used by her. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I nearly got fucking sick just reading all of that right here. Now, if you guys want to have further context and clarification, then I'm going to link you guys to the original video from Adam McIntyre that goes into great lengths and great detail about what we're discussing here, and man, let me just tell you something, this shit fucking disturbs me. Like, Imagine being an adult in your 30s and having a bunch of little children in a group chat that you make that are young enough to be your kids, first of all. But aside from that, like going out of your way to being so weird, inappropriate, and just overall really grotesque with them, asking inappropriate and sexual questions, encouraging bullying, like that is beyond fucking disgusting. It doesn't need my description and my thoughts to communicate as how easily and straightforward, disgusting, and reprehensible this bullshit is. But nah, you know what? I guess it takes people like me to call this shit out because I guess people these days don't understand, even adults that are in their fucking 30s don't understand the simple and mere easy to understand concept leave little kids alone. I'm already getting fucking fired up about this and we're just barely scratching the surface, y'all. But let's keep on going. We're in this together. Miranda Sings made teen fan uncomfortable at comedy show. A TikTok posted on June 14th by No It's Becky, first name Becky, alleges that the YouTuber has humiliated and exploited minors for entertainment in her shows. Becky opened up on how she went to one of Ballinger's shows when she was 16 years old and was called up on stage to be a part of the show. However, Becky soon got very uncomfortable as they began the yoga challenge, which involved Ballinger, who was acting as Miranda at the time, controlling the teenager's body for the audience's amusement. In one section of the bit, Ballinger visibly spread the then-teenager's legs so far apart that Becky's spandex became visible to the audience. While doing this, she had a smirk on her lips while looking down at Becky on the floor. Explaining her experience, Becky wrote on Twitter, I've been debating posting this picture, but this was me on stage. She encouraged her fans to wear revealing clothing so we would get called on stage. And then she exploited us and our bodies for her own gain. So yeah, I'm okay with calling her a predator. I'm so sick of people being okay with calling Colleen out, but then stopping when it comes to using certain terminology. It's okay to call her a groomer and a predator because that's what she is. Normal people don't do what she does to children. The whole bit here was that I farted while in this position, which is one, really childish, and two, fucking embarrassing, when you're already in a vulnerable position. I was only a teenager here, and you can see that I had to stop and cover myself up before I even stood up. Now, there's also some video footage to go along with this, but I'm not going to be showing it here, because it's honestly really, really unsettling, just to even see it, like, off screen, you know what I'm saying? But... Aside from that, oh my fucking god, are you absolutely kidding me? Like, who in the absolute right mind thinks that doing something like this, even for a bit, was fucking okay to do? Like, even under the premise of comedy, what the fuck? Like, imagine doing that to a child, not only being physical with them, but also being inappropriate and also embarrassing them to the point where they're beyond uncomfortable. Like, are you absolutely kidding me? And not to mention as well, imagine encouraging fans, including minor fans, to wear certain clothing. I mean... <laughs> Do I even need to go further when it comes to that part of the explanation right there? No, I don't. It's fucking weird. Sponsors drop Colleen Ballinger as a result of grooming accusations. At least two companies that work with Colleen on her podcast, Relax, 
with Colleen Ballinger and Eric Stockland, have pulled their sponsorships as a result of the accusations against her. Colleen has previously been open about her previous controversies. In a video called Addressing Everything, which was published in 2020, Colleen opened up about a number of accusations leveled at her, including footage from a 2016 giveaway livestream, during which Adam, who was 17 at the time, was sent unused lingerie the content creator did not want. In hindsight, I see how completely stupid of me it was. I should never have sent that. It was never a sneaky, creepy, gross thing I was doing in secret. It was a silly, stupid mistake. No, I should have never sent a fan underwear. How stupid am I? No, I definitely should have never given him access to my Twitter account. And no, I shouldn't have talked to him as often as I did. But I am not a monster. I am not a groomer. And I shouldn't kill myself, said Colleen. Well, I mean, here's the thing. What are you then, Colleen, if you are sending your fucking lingerie? to a child what are you then like if you're not a predator if you're not a groomer if you're not a monster then what the fuck are you well you know what you're fucking insane if you think that something like this is even worth trying to justify now yeah you had admitted that this right here was a quote stupid thing to do but who in the right mind would ever think that it was an appropriate thing to do? Sending something as intimate and sexual as lingerie to a goddamn minor. Like, are you kidding me with this? Colleen responds to grooming allegations with ukulele song. On June 28th, Ballinger finally broke her silence about the accusations against her and uploaded a video response to her vlog channel. In the video, the YouTuber claimed that her management team had strongly advised her not to say what I want to say, but realized they never said I couldn't sing. Thus, she sang a 10-minute ditty about the ordeal, which she called toxic gossip, and compared to a train heading into a manipulation station, all while strumming away on a ukulele. Although Ballinger claimed that she has changed her behavior and took accountability for her past actions, Fans weren't happy with her video, with many accusing her of mocking her accusers and making light of a serious situation. Oh yeah, I heard about that bullshit as well. Imagine being so goddamn brain dead and so disrespectful and so insulting that rather than making a half-decent explanation, accountability slash apology video, you decide to make a goddamn parody out of it by strumming on a ukulele and singing about it. Adam McIntyre responds to the video with his own version of the song. Ballinger's ukulele song quickly got mocked on social media, with several people calling it one of the worst influencer apology videos. Adam McIntyre, who made the initial video against Ballinger, made a reaction video to her apology song where he accused her of making fun of him. A few hours later, he made another response where he watched the video and sang along with his own ukulele. McIntyre told viewers that if Ballinger believes a musical response is appropriate, then perhaps she will pay attention if he does the same. Singing off-key and not really knowing how to play the instrument in his hands, he proceeded to respond to each of Ballinger's lyrics with his own, singing along to her chorus and calling out inconsistencies he saw in her apology. At multiple points within the video, McIntyre pointed out that despite Ballinger insisting she will only focus on facts in her apology, she never provided any evidence or proof. Viewers showered McIntyre's video with support, mostly loving his response to Ballinger's bizarre musical apology. One wrote, This is the best example of when life gives you lemons, make a lemonade. Adam, you are amazing and an icon. McIntyre has not been the only one shocked and appalled by Colleen's response, with many YouTubers and influencers rising up to slam the Miranda Singh star for her tone-deaf approach, including Tana Mojo, who posted her reaction on TikTok. You see, when you have someone like Tana Mojo even being pissed at you, you know you done fucked up. Big time. And yeah, I definitely gotta say, I have seen a lot of YouTuber apology videos, and I've seen my fair share of really, really bad ones, but I have to say, without a shadow of a doubt, Colleen Ballinger's ukulele apology bullshit, whatever fuck type of video it is, was undoubtedly the worst. Miranda sings under fire as blackface video resurfaces. On July 5th, 
Ballinger once again came under fire after a user on Twitter reposted an old video of the YouTuber wearing what appears to be blackface while singing and dancing to Beyonce's single ladies. This video is still available to view on the Miranda Sings YouTube channel and was originally uploaded in 2018. As shown by the Twitter user, the video is directly linked to in a QR code in one of Ballinger's books. However, according to Ballinger's legal representatives, she was wearing green makeup, not blackface as the posts on social media has suggested. This was soon followed by fellow influencer Trisha Paytas blasting the YouTuber amid the ongoing accusations against her. Now this right here is the video in question and I apologize for the rather lackluster quality, but this definitely does look like blackface here. Like, let's see if we can possibly get to a point of a video where we can see perhaps maybe like if it is actual black face paint or if it's green or something like that but yeah let's just see this here let's just see this i have this muted here because uh i don't want this bitch copywriting my shit even though it's all fair use but yeah i mean there's really no other way to explain this i mean what were you going for when it came to putting on this face paint? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't get it. I just really, really don't get it. And you know what? Like, if you think that blackface is okay, you're a fucking idiot. Straight up. But, yeah. I apologize for having to visually showcase 45 seconds of cringe to you people. Colleen hits reactions to apology song with copyright claims as tour get cancelled. On July 11th, it was revealed that Ballinger had released her apology song, Toxic Gossip Train, as an official song, which means that she can now send copyright claims to people reacting to the song online. This technically means that Ballinger will be profiting off of the attention that her video has received, which is a silver lining to a very dark cloud considering how many people have ridiculed the video. In response to this, several people claimed this proved that the apology had been fake. One person wrote on Twitter, so this only confirms the apology was fake. Another said, it was never an apology in the first place. She never apologized for anything laughing my ass off. Around this time, it was also revealed that Ballinger's Miranda Sings live shows had been cancelled. People who had tickets to see Ballinger in one of her 11 upcoming shows got an email on July 10th, which told them that the organizer had cancelled the shows. Right, so on top of everything incriminating against Colleen Ballinger, all of the facts, all of the evidence that has been shown and talked about against her, she has now proven to be a copyright troll. That's right, she decided to take her absolute garbage of an apology song, turn it into a profit, and is now gaining even more profit off of those that use her song in a reaction or fair use type of manner. Like, that right there just further shows how much of a disingenuous, creepy piece of human garbage she really is. Like, straight up, if there are people out there that still support her, there's something fucking wrong with your head, man. You need to go get that checked out and possibly be prescribed with some mental help. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that right here, we finally made it to the end here of this video, but with all of the stuff that we have had to cover, I am willing to bet that this saga ain't over. Yes, this is my first video on this subject, ladies and gentlemen, but for all of the stuff that was already, like, pre-documented, prior to me making this video, there, I am willing to bet, is going to be a lot more stuff to come out. I hope that's not the case, but, um, given how wild 2023 is here, folks, uh, anything can happen. Jesus Christ, man. This video, this subject, Miranda Sings, Colleen Ballinger, whoever the fuck you are, this individual talking about her gave me a goddamn headache, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab some Tylenol here and uh, just hope for the best. Hope I don't have a freaking aneurysm after making this video because this was, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the worst, most frustrating things I have ever had to talk about, but it needed to be done out of principle and out of the sheer fact that things like this not only need to be called out, but things like this need to just straight up and down the board be condemned. 
period bottom line so with that being said guys that's it here for this video thank you guys very much for watching and sitting through this rough as hell video if you guys somehow made it to the very end without wanting to like I don't know, crash through a wall or something like that, because I wanted to crash through a wall a few times because of how frustrating this topic is. Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll give you guys a gold star if you guys somehow made your way through the entirety of this video. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video, ladies and gentlemen. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you guys next time. And a word of advice once again in four simple words. Leave little children alone.